Economists are known for tossing a phrase around called realizing economies of scale. And essentially what it means is that as we make our processes bigger, things get cheaper to make per unit. We become more efficient at making things as we make them on larger scales. And so as an engineer, we can take into account the fact that doubling the size of our reactor doesn't necessarily double the size of our costs by making use of these exponential rules. And so what I'm going to do in this video is work through an example problem in which we are able to take a known cost and figure out how much we would expect to pay if we were if we wanted to double the size of a heat exchanger. And so uh, the very first thing to understand here is that uh, we're going to be making use of a formula and that formula tells us that the cost of A is equal to the cost of B times the capacity of A divided by the capacity of B raised to some n, where n is an exponential term. And the costs and the capacities are things that you can look up on your own, but this n value is something that's typically a tabulated value that you're going to get from your textbook. And there's a lot of engineers who will dedicate a lot of time uh, figuring out what these exponents are and what range of capacities these exponents will apply to. So you need to keep track of the capacities that you're working with in order to make sure that you're not uh, being unreasonable. And so uh, with this information, we can now go about solving this problem. And so in this case, I'm gonna let A, the variable A, denote our 400 square foot reactor. So we're solving for CA, the cost to actually build this 400 square foot uh, heat exchanger. And we know that the cost to install this 200 foot square one, B, was 80,000 bucks. And we're going to be multiplying this by the capacity of A, which is 400 square feet, over the capacity of B, which was 200 square feet. And we look to our table, so we've got a floating head heat exchanger and the floating head heat exchanger is right here with a value of 0.6 for the exponent. So we will plug in 0.6 for our n value right here. And it's just a matter of plugging and chugging. So what we get out of this is that this cost will be equivalent to $121,000 based on the cost to install our 200 square foot $80,000 heat exchanger. And so um, it is also important to make a note here how they've given you this size range here and we've made sure that we've stuck within this size range because um, otherwise these values will not be as accurate as you're hoping. And so that's going to wrap things up for this video. I hope you guys find it useful and thanks for watching.